All right, we're gonna do the wheel now. Okay, this is already been, this one's been blasted already. I put the plastic so I wouldn't touch it. Keep the moisture, the rain off of it, hopefully. No flash rust, that's a good sign, because sometimes it does flash rust. Okay, I'll lay that right here. Now this is really simple. All we do to hold it is these wire bars I made up. You can stick them through the hole right there. Stick them through one of these over here, whatever lines up works. You can pick it up and do what you want with it. And you lay it right on top of here, and you can coat it. That's what we're going to do. So I think we need to get this one a little bit further over. There you go, that seems solid. There cool. That's simple. We just pick it up, flip it over, put it right back down. Real easy. Let's now the, get it. You know, I'll have to rotate this. We're going to do the inside first. Then you do the outside, mm -hmm. the inside of here, and then, then we'll flip it over and do the other side. That should get coat the whole thing, hopefully. Cool. And so we'll see how all that works. And you should be able to just hook the wire on top of the uh, the rod from the bottom so it won't be in the way or whatever works best. And we're also watching the clock over there for the oven, so. Kind of. I was trying to make this work better, but it didn't work very well. There we go. Okay, we'll see how much this we actually videotape here. So I'm not shooting it down here. Oh, yeah. Just shoot it up here. Yeah. You may do the heavy lifting here, boss. All right. There you go. Thank you. Hope I can handle this. All right. Look at that. Perfect. Until you fall down with it, drop it. We're using such low air pressure, we're not really uh, making a big mess in here. So that's pretty good. That's always good. And then it just doesn't kick up a bunch of shit. Yeah, I can actually. You think it'll work here. with the uh, if I just connect it to this guy? Yes. Okay. I'd go underneath though. Put up enough in the bottom. There you go. Okay. I get a straight shot of the. Get it where you can get it and I'll rotate it for you. Is that laying in there pretty good? Yeah. Looks like I need to get a little bit closer. Yeah, it's not going to work in those holes with the squat, I know that. The tear they affect with screws will be bad. Don't, don't bother going all the way around, I can get it. Just get a you know a nice good shot. All right, yeah. Get through here, right here. You can obviously work this area pretty good, can't you? Or is that too much of a problem? It's okay, I'm don't worry about it. So. Okay. Can you get it up over here on this side? I can do the do the upper half. Oh the oven just went out of time over there. Yeah, 
Turn the shit off on us over here. Suck up another hour of time. It's at 4.15, so we're okay. What's our uh, time's at? Uh, a couple more minutes, I guess. Can you bounce it around a little bit? Yeah, I did. I can put my hand over and shake the piss out of it. It's blowing a lot better. I don't think this is helping us much. Let me shake that up a little bit. It's a lid up. It's right there. A mess if I dropped it. Ooh. Comes out now. How's our air pressure? Is it getting low or something? No, it's about the same. About six, seven pounds or so. Have to watch this over here. Yeah, I just want to come out. Let me jerk it. Let me try just a tick more air. That should be another pound or two. Mm -hmm. Can't get that far. You only get about this much distance. Yeah. Is that better now that you're more flat? Yeah. You know, it's a gravity feed or it's a suction system, so it kind of sucks. <laughs> more than one way. Okay, we're at our five minute tear. Okay, let me see where we're at on my oven over here. I don't know how you tell if it's done or not over here. That's how you tell, it looks pretty nice. We're only at 360 over here though on the temperature. but I don't know if it's baked on. It was only 360 something degrees on temperature. Oh, it was? Yeah. Depending if that thing was even fucking working right. Yeah, that's the thing. So I turned the temperature up a little bit on the overall temperature. Can I rotate it? Yes, please. Okay, the water probably yeah. needs to be changed. There. It works pretty good, this one, except for getting the in outside where I want to see. <laughs> this is really good for the inside. Shocking. <laughs> did, it, did it get you? No. Tried to. Oh, yeah, dude. We're on the high number. This is two. There's two frequencies you can try. That's just the high one. So I'm assuming it won't float into that, that area there, I'm assuming. No, that's not even getting enough to even coat the thing. Now I kind of wish it was hanging yeah. vertical. Well, we'll get to that later. 
Okay, do we get, uh, you want to try getting in there a little better, see if we go in at all or not? It's wanting to go up in there. Yeah, well, it's not going to want to because the, the fields are in there. Right. Okay, that's enough it'll float. Okay, let me get in here. Pull that one off. Damn oven didn't come back on. Shit. Eat. Eat the crap oven. There it goes. Ah. Oh. Whenever you're trying to do something accurate, it's when it screws with you. You're just trying to heat a head up for welding, it'll be dead nuts for a half hour straight, no problem. Okay, that time it came on. So that's how I burned the last one I did the job. Couldn't get the oven to work right. Okay, where are we at over here? You got the work? You want me to hold this for you? Uh, rotate it. You want me to hold it up at an angle? You got it all the way over here, don't you know? There we go. You getting to wear a spray on there now? Yeah, it's just, I need to get it. Yeah. Pretty thin. Yeah. So what, can you try and see if you can get a vertical? I'm gonna get it until I get tired. Right here. It's yeah. like kicking shit out. You can put it back. To, I flip it over actually. And the problem is you gotta get this side done. You gotta get that thing to work. So whatever it's doing, we gotta get until it starts working correctly. It can't do anything. So what are we doing here? We gonna mix it up some more? Or? Yeah, you gotta. Beat on it again. The Here's the lid. Thank you. Phone's over there. More interruptions. Hello. Uh, for a while, Are you in town now? Okay. Yeah, we're down here. Come on by. Uh, Walker, we're trying to powder coat a rim right now. We got we're, we're doing a good job of screwing it up, but we're doing our best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Alan's back in town. Oh, nice. There we go. Now we're putting some powder down. There you go. What'd you do? Just check it up real good. Yeah. yeah. It's real faint in a lot of places. It's really faint too there. Yeah. But let me get over there. Let me hold an angle for you. This damn thing keeps falling down. Here, hang out of the damn way, that helps. Okay, where's the spot that was spinning? It's over here. Let me get over like this. And hold it like this. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see right through it. Look at the damn thing. It's terrible. See that's real thin right there in the first bead, second bead, and whatever you want to go right through there, yeah. Okay, let me see, let me rotate it. Okay, my thumb's got to get some air. I need some blood back in my thumb for a second. <laughs> yeah, see how thin it is all through there? Oh. It's alright, I think it's snapped, I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah, much better to have dropped in that time. Alright. You have to also try to get between the nipple holes there. You know, on this angle, because we only got one shot at this angle. So, let's see how that looks this time. 
Okay, look pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. No nicks on this side. Okay. Like this. I gotta flip it over. Pick up that lid. Three over there, so it's kind of getting the temperature going. And if we underbake the powder coat, it'll want to chip real easy. So, if you overbake it, it turns our crap too. See, that's probably cheap ass powder coat guns. I think we're going to have to look, uh, look, find a good used one that's a good one. Donations accepted. You'll accept a donation for free? Yeah, I was, uh, I was looking at that a few years ago trying to find a good one. It was I forget the name of the brand, but Eastwood was not the one. <laughs> yeah, it was like five grand you had to spend to buy, buy a decent unit. 441 over there. Still half a bottle in there, isn't it? Half a jar? No, a lot. It's way more than half bottle. Oh, so we're not using that much. Okay. It's hard to tell how much is on the floor and how much is on the part. Yeah. Well, I mean, considering that barely any of it's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> barely any. <laughs> That's probably. It's got to be something to do with it. Yeah. Very inconsistent. Is the extra air pressure hurting or helping? I think it's kind of helping a little bit. I bumped it up a little bit. You want me to try a little more? Let's try just a little more pressure. A little bit more. I'm just going a little. There's a quarter, eighth of a turn more. Should be a couple more pounds. Got too much air, not enough fluid, not enough junk. There you go. What did you do there? Down here. Oh, there wasn't. Okay, let me turn this down on my end. Your valve has to be open so my valve will work. Quit working. Okay, some more pressure on my side now. Okay. I can hear it. I hear it blowing, but it's not coming out. See, blowing's not good either because it blows it off the part. Yeah. I don't think the extra. I don't think that's helping us any. If you hear it blowing, I think you got too much pressure anyway. What's the poundage on the gauge? Like seven or eight. Okay. There you go. It's starting to come out a little bit now. Yeah, it's like, oh, we'll do it for a little bit. And then... Yeah, it's working good for the headlight, and then it takes a crap for the rest of this stuff. Rotate it. Okay, I gotta get the oven now. We're at 15 minutes here. I'm gonna burn all this crap up in here. Oh, yeah, we're 450 on a gate card. We over temperatured it. That's what I had the problem with last time. So there's the parts in there. Okay, now I gotta get this thing out of here somehow. Yep. This is easy. Now 
that look? Kind of blistery. Yeah, a little blistered. Yeah. Oh well. Handle that for now. If I don't like it, I'll put paint on it and call it done. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Where's that hook at? Yeah, that'll work. Remember, it didn't go through the whole way. Couldn't fit. Probably a little, it shouldn't be too awful soft. It should be good enough for me to do this way. Hook it onto the light. Such a beautiful sound. Nice and quiet. Not harmful to the ears at all. Nope. It's at only 426. At 406 it was too low and at 426 is too high, so. <laughs> Probably that oven set. Oven is not for powder coating. Very inaccurate. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Okay, you got the, all of the inside or not? You still gotta do some over here. It looks like. Where? Let me rotate it. Yes, please. Yep. yep. We'll go yeah. through there. Where's the hook? Where's the hook? Oh, the wires on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Rotate it. Yes, please. There we go. Whoa. I thought it was going to fall. Did it get you? No, I thought it was going to fall. <laughs> and then get me. There you go. Now it's going good. Yeah. Huh. It's so yeah. freaking weird. I need to get my lights on in there. Oh, I didn't have my light on. Here. How's that? Does it help your light? Yes. Okay, good. I'm I don't good. know what that I'm little glad. light piece is, but... That's all right. It's supposed to be there. Okay. That's about all we're going to get out of that. Okay. Ready to try some uh, angle stuff? And as soon as we try the angle stuff, it just doesn't want to work. Okay, get over there. Oh, I'm going to touch them over there. It's not getting anything out of there. Shake it up. You're not getting anything. Pretty low right there. And there's a slow the inner one, not the outer, the inner. Okay. And my thumb needs some air on it. Okay, I'm making a knot here with the cord. Okay. I need to pull the cord off wherever it's at. Unloose it. Put it back right here, I guess. Ready? Yep. Just made a spot on the other side. <laughs> Working. Get the inner rib right there. Yep. Cool. Go back over here. Back. Looking good. I think I touched on the other side at some point though. Okay, that one looks pretty good there. Okay, you see anything around there? It looks good. No, it looks good on the outside. Did finally. you see a spot where I touched it over here? Yeah, right there. 
the cord here. I just think the cord just dropped this way, but I think we're all right. No. Okay. Well, here. My uh, blood's getting... All right. When it gets in the joint, it cuts the blood flow. All right, well, I think it's good. All right. Good job. All right, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Yeah, we will. Or you will. I'll see what it looks like in a, about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's tough for me to go Actually, it's not that far. We're already hooked cooked up there. Why don't you grab the... Uh... Here, you work the camera for real quick. I'm going plenty of gloves off. My fancy gloves. Your fancy gloves. My fancy powder cup nice gloves. gloves. They don't I'm, really do much huh? I'm down to my last uh, 100 fucking pile over here. i got like two cases of them things. All right, what are we okay. doing? I'm, uh, we're at 4.30 over here. So you're going to jam it back in there? I'm going to, I need one glove here. I'm going to open the door possibly to get into it. I'm not sure. Can you blow this off? Uh, yeah. Let's see the camera real quick. Not so much. I'm not as good as you. It does feather, you know. All right, that's good. Barely, it barely feathers. It's got a big lever. How about the lack of blood flow to my thumb? You don't care about that, do you? Oh, I do. Okay, give me the changes. Okay. Like that. Like this. Not hot in there or anything. Not at all. There you go. 444. That's where it shut off at. It goes up. It goes up about 20 degrees and then it drops back down. And it goes back up. All right, we're going to try that again. See what happens. All right, we were at five minutes to nine, so I'll check it at nine o'clock, see what the temperature of the rim is at. We'll start our clock. Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. I'll no get this uh, cleaned up. Somebody made a big mess in here. Kind of big mess. Little big mess. So we're using about seven pounds, seems to be a good number. Seven pounds? Yeah. yeah seven pounds of burn. Okay. Just, uh, I feel like if we had like a filter or like um, almost like a, a screen around the intake of it, of that. On that? Yeah, it would probably make it a little bit Well, you easier. do have, a, it is flowing through some kind of a filter, but. Yeah. Well, if you see you know something we need, buy it and I'll pay for it. All right. You know what the uh, hell it I'm is. But we're using straight uh, nitrogen for the gas, so it's we're good. How much did we use? Oh, we used 100 pounds pressure, or maybe 50. We used, <laughs> we used about 50 pounds of uh, gas pressure here. Oh, wow. So I've been using this for uh, the last, well, off and on for a year now. Yeah. So anyway, compressed nitrogen gives you nice, clean air, no moisture. And we put a filter on in case there's any contaminant down there, and it works good. And this is one of those NASCAR regulator guys. Oh yeah. For high flow, so it'll flow 50 or uh, 60 psi with a regular paint gun. Nice. So it's a little bit overkill for our five-pound deal. Yeah, I mean even for painting, like you don't really want a whole lot of pressure going on that. Like uh, everybody I talked to about what to buy said I needed 50, 60 psi of pressure. Really? Constant. And no. And so I got uh, this. Were they, well, they, they must be using something different. And I, I even stuff. bought a, I got, I got one of those air tanks for, uh, it goes under a truck. Mm. You know, yeah. it's, it's like about a eight gallon, 10 gallon air tank. I was going to put in there and put it in there and I got two bottles. I'm going to put them in tandem yeah. to keep up with the air volume. But everything we've done painting here, it doesn't use it up. Mm. I've been using this like it off and on for the last year doing coating and stuff or a couple years, I guess, probably. No yeah. problem. So anyway, this works really, really good. And filling up ain't all that much. I think it's only like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. For like, not even, you haven't even used it's a whole 300, this is, this is a 300 CFM bottle, it's a commercial bottle. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't cost squat. Versus hooking up the air dryer up there. That's not the dryer, that's the cooler. And then put a dryer behind it, which I got somewhere in this building as a dryer. And plumbing it and doing it, it ain't worth the trouble. This is simple, you move around, do whatever you want. Yeah. It's simple. But we do need to get a, definitely better that. Yep. Nordstrom, Nordstrom, that's the name I like. We need a Nordstrom handheld gun and power unit. You need the whole thing. Yeah, that's it. So anybody got one floating around you somewhere that works? Let me know.
I can use one. I'll pay for it a little bit. We'll send you some merch. Send him a couple of shirts and uh, well, those hats. How's those shirts. hats coming and stickers? Um, they're coming. And patches. They're coming. I've heard that. Um, I'll, I'll talk. To, I'll, I'll shoot, out, shoot out another email. Figure it out. So. And I've had comments about what they like. It's everything from the original logo to just we don't care. So. Okay. It's pretty much it. So like a big dick all over it. No. No. What'd you do to my shirt? You got a big brown spot on top of it up there. You got your lunch up there? I have no idea. You're sleeping on your lunch? Fucking shit. So. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. All right. Oh, well. All right. That's it for now. <laughs> we'll be back later once we get the rim out. All right. Let's see what we got going on over here. It's only 380. 400 over there. Halfway the temperature, I guess. But the same temperature was five minutes ago. So I guess I'll pull it out about 15 after. I'll be over baking it pretty good, probably. We'll see. I gotta clean up this mess here now, so. Yeah, that'll be fun. Wonderful. And I gotta paint a couple things yet, too, so. I'm gonna paint them because it's easier, quicker. Oh, where's that headlight at? It should be cool now. Perfect, it looks like crap. It's my favorite kind of work. And the wire, you keep the wire, right? I'll keep that right there in case we need it. All right, get some light on subject. Yeah, that looks good. Black shows all dents. I don't see no dents. See a bunch of damn crappy ass chrome underneath the light here, but yeah, yeah, I beat that up pretty flat, pretty good. You can still see the crease right through there, but in there too. And you get that knocked out enough. It's all right. I'm good. I like it. It's pretty nice. Looks good. See that powder coat's so thin, I can still see the American Made logo still in there. See, even down there, I can still see it. There you go. <clears throat> It'll get on the bike. All right, we'll get that put together. I'll find me a couple screws to go in there. We'll get that thing assembled up and get it on the bike over here. I'm going to get that done tonight if we're lucky. i got to find some bearings for this thing, too. So More stuff to play with. All right, got to clean up my mess. Okay, trying to pull this out. We're at 15 to 18 minutes after, a little bit over time. Oh well. If I don't like it, I'll just have to redo it again. It'll be the third time. Maybe it's the fourth time. I forget how many times I've done it. Put the gloves on it. Get an idea what our temperature is. 367 and 388, 390. It was only 350, 340. Yeah, way back there. Yeah. I don't know if you got the right temperature up to it on it. But the headlight bucket I overcooked it. This one I think I undercooked it. Oh well, whatever it is, it's, it is. Let's pull this out to cool it. Use the same rack to do it. Yeah, it's pretty rough looking. Crappy job. Oh well. I don't know why it's crappy, but it is. Turn that off. Actually, leave that open a little bit. I don't know if it's overcooked, undercooked. I don't know. It's. Not flowing like it's supposed to, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. 
Second time in a row I've done it. It comes out the same, so. I don't know. Maybe someone out there knows what, it, what the problem is. It's not supposed to be a wrinkle. Well, we got too much powder on it. Over temperatured. Overcooked. I don't know. Looks pretty good through here. Yeah, we'll let it cool off so it looks like we're done, but it looks like the headlight uneven and rough. Alright, back to cleaning up this crappy mess hole here. I told him I'm going to clean up everything. Okay, what are we doing here? I am hazardly getting rid of my powder that we need to use. Alright, is this all environmentally correct? Yes, it goes right outside here. <laughs> All right, well, Al there onto my ranchero or my Studebaker. Well, Alan's back in town and he's here to get things right. Yeah, sometimes he wants me to work on his bike. No, I don't want nothing. I came to see you. In fact, I thought you might be hungry. I even uh, brought you some pizza. Look at that. You didn't bring Scooby anything, though. I brought you. <laughs> there you go, pizza. And extra napkins. Extra napkins to degrease. What where? It should be cool. Oh wow! Look at that. The headlight bucket. So waiting at that. Is this for your bike? Yeah. Nice. You know I don't give a flat bottom. Was that thing that pitted? Wrong place. That thing was bent in half. I I like the. Uh, I you like. Ever get back on the internet yet, so you can actually watch videos? N well, I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, uh huh. You're in the back country of Indiana, wasn't it? <laughs> that where you went to? Where is that South Dakota you said I'm from? Yeah, look how I clean the floor over here. There we go. Well, I like your uh, black accent rims. You're a man after my own heart. All right. Doing this crap long before you arrive. God darn, look at this Sportster here. This thing is nice. I think this thing was in here once before, wasn't it? Huh. About out there. What? What are you talking about? Call you Walker's bike? No, I don't know what you think of that bike. <laughs> well, what do you think of it? Well, I got some work to do. I'm going to get some paint now. Okay, this has got to be silver. It's going to be black. The sand's still coming out of that. Who blew that off? That's right. the mousetrap spring. Almost like you had one of these ones. Well, I know of them. I never owned a mousetrap. You didn't? How'd you, how'd you kill your mouse? How did I what? How'd you kill your mouse? <laughs> okay, one advantage you had the other one earlier. We can warm up the paint now. All right, get your paint in there. Oh, uh, it's still 190 degrees over here. You want to put your pizza in there? What in there? You better eat your pizza while it's still less than 100. Oh, it's 190 degrees. 190 degrees. Hey, look at these wheels here. Man, those are nice. Silver? Hey, uh, that rim came out good. What do we got back in here? Anything I'd like? No. I didn't think so. I got that nice new sports for you. Yeah, I'm going to take that home and bob it. Bob it. Where is it? <laughs> I'll bob it, all right. It's already bobbed. There's no gas tank on it. You put a new tank on it? No, there's no fuel tank on it. Oh. Well, that one tank really quick. Is that it back there? Yeah. So I haven't been on video, so that one re relegated to the rear or what? What? The servicing of the... Uh... the customers are regulated the rear this week. I know. I'm still looking for... Uh... My four hours of sleep is all that I can generate. From my weekend. shifter. I didn't have time to work on your job. I didn't have nothing down here. Thank you, though. I got a generator for you. I just, I just picked mine up. A guy in Chicago, been in business 55 years. Yeah, I still got your old one, though. No, I got it. I thought I had it. Nope. Did we give it back to you? Yeah. See, I don't know why I did that. It's the did same what? thing I had to crawl in before. It's all, it looks like crap. It didn't flow in right. It's thin. I don't know what the problem is. It just looks Do like you know crap. what, though? Did you take the chrome off? It didn't have any chrome on it. Uh, well, it was chromed at one time. No, this is a raw steel one. Oh. 
Look at the back wheel. Well, it's, good. it's not thick enough or it would have flowed out. I don't know what the problem is. Yeah, but, but she didn't get a lot of... No, it's too thin. I don't know what the problem is. Someone on YouTube might know what the problem is. I don't yeah, but you is. didn't. You don't have a lot of runs on it. But well, it's I'm, sealed up. It's a fucking race bike. Well, yeah, just, All right. Well, well you're never going to wipe it off again after you get it done. Well, lace it up and run it. What's that guy oh, jeez. You know what? You could even paint it black over that, and it would look good. For me. That a boy. Would I do that? All I know is it's a race bike. Hey, you didn't come across my shifter lever here, did you? Somewhere. It's over in a pile over there somewhere. Yeah, it's what you told me six months ago. It's still over there in a pile somewhere. Did you find it though? It's right next to my two levers. I didn't work on mine either. Uh, all right. Well then. Okay, so it looks like I got everything painted. At least I know where it's at. That's right. Okay, so I fixed the bad spots. Okay, so that's going to be uh, ready to go together now. Once it gets all greasy, you'll never know. It's the front wheel, not the back wheel, that one. Uh, well, but okay. Oh, the black back one looks nice. My triple tray right. Yeah, I like it. That's paint. See, paint looks good. It's dull paint. Look at this, yeah. But these are, these are Fred's trees because they're 49 trees. They're not 57 trees. I found out the difference. Why? What is it? The early ones had three ace holes in here for pinch bolts, uh -huh. and they had studs and nuts. And in 55, they went to the 716 bolt. Oh. So this is a 57, so it's supposed to have the other, it's supposed to have a later tree. Now, the tree that I have in the other room is the correct tree. I looked at it last night, but it has a broken out bolt in here, and I don't have time to deal with it. So we're going to put this under my bike. We're going to test it out for Fred and make sure it works good. And then if I don't hit a wall or something, I'll give it back to him. Well, if Fred doesn't come around anymore, hey, what's with all these body tools? I was working on it. Nice. You watched the video last night. I'd, I've been on the road, my friend. I've been on the road Actually, for five uh, days. Let's see. I only posted two of the videos out of six because I had to get some sleep. Yeah, okay. Would sleep falls to the wayside. Otherwise, I could have wasted another hour of no sleep. So this had a big dent in it. It's hard to see. There's a big crease right here. See how this is all wrinkled up right around here? This whole thing was wrinkled all the way around here. Yeah, but it's a ridge. It was shoved in there a quarter inch below the surface. Looks nice. So I straightened it all out. I took all the dents out. So to see, you can't see no dents. No. It's nice and round and straight. And it's perfect. Well, let me ask you this. Would you rather run that one or would you rather run a big twin? V twin. The chrome one over there is sitting over there. I took off and I'm leaving it off. Good. I think so. Now the choice was either this one or the one that has a stupid hole someone put in here for a red light. Yeah, I like the red light, but... I don't because that's not stuck. I know, but they still look cool. So I like this one. This is perfect for me. Okay. It'll look just right on my bike. Yep. And Alan said he wanted the bike anyway after I've done with it. You're, you'll never... You, Tatro, you can't make up your mind. Come on, let's go eat. We gotta talk. I was working on my project and interrupted me. Remember my, my heat gun was getting hot over here? Oh, that's right, that's right. All right. Well, I'm gonna flip this, flip, shut this off. I'm gonna shut this off for a minute. All right. We'll be back. Tatro's back in town. This is warmed up.